Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome. So just going to be starting here in just a moment. I would like to start by saying I apologize. I had inadvertently missed the stream yesterday. Now, I would put that down to me having a... I had a university exam yesterday and that. So I think I, I, I for some reason thought the stream was at 6pm. <laughs> and it, it wasn't. <laughs> it, it actually wasn't. Uh, so that was a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> the thing is though, I was so proud because I was like, yes, I've finished the, the exam essays. I've got four minutes left. So I'm scrambling to get the microphone ready. And uh, turns out, yeah, I missed it. I was like, damn it. <laughs> so here I am today. Uh, I do apologize for that, uh, Sliver, of course, as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started here in just a moment. Let's just share the link there. Yeah, so it's one of those things you learn from. How you doing there, Jackalus? Yeah, good to see you, my man. Good to see you. Okay. And you know what? I do actually have a microphone in a different position. For a long time, I'd actually had the microphone on, on the stand on the table. And it was getting in the goddamn way. So I've actually set up the boon once again. And I think it's a lot better. It's a lot more comfortable, I can tell you that. I can actually sit in the chair nicely and comfortably, which makes a tremendous bloody difference. God, I started this in 1.02. It was like such a long time ago now compared to how many bloody versions I've passed by. <laughs> it does feel like it's a version every week now. But we are here for one and a half hours, which is awesome. I can go through uh, about a turn, I bet. And that will be quite nice. And the good news is I am technically free for 10 days until I have semester 2. I mean, I do have lots of prep to be doing, but in fairness, it's, uh, it's the stuff I like. We'll be doing a semester of modern Japanese history and late Roman history, which will be fun. Well, it'll be fun. I had a chosen to have done another Asian module, but apparently I can't, so that's kind of weird. No, I forget that you can use like WA and D. I was playing Dominion's Fire while I was waiting, actually. I'm really into that game, or something. Okay. So, Kalashidar, my cop, will be falling next turn. We'll move these troops over here, then into reserve, so they could begin to dig in this position. Uh, I also do need them to actually build up that combat prep. I did want to actually have the core on top of them here. The reason being, it's going to enable them... In fairness, they don't really need replacements, so what I can go ahead and do is just placements are ready now. But it should get their combat prep and their fatigue down there by having the additional support elements over here. That should be quite nice. When it comes to it, I will place a division there. Mm, it's mostly because there's actually the depot here, so I can actually boost that. Granted, it does make me wonder, is that worth doing? Uh, probably not, to be honest. Probably not. I think I'd be better off just creating another deep over here than placing that, uh... Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually place them in there. That would be wise. So they can go there. They can go there. Well, in fairness, they could sit on top for a turn and refit. These guys have 57 construction, 60 there. Yeah, that should be alright. Aiden there, Sarge, good to have you, my man. Yeah, all the Romans are late. Very late. <laughs> I don't know why I found that one really amusing, but I did. So well done. Okay, so I do have these BF109 G2s that should move out of there. I bet those guys are glad they're moving right now. Okay. Now, we did have a series of setbacks. We did move, well, we've moved our forces over here for now, because we couldn't move them much further than that. Uh, what we need to do is try to establish this. We talked about having these forces move and uh, move in this direction, really. What I really need is substantial enough infantry to make this, this hold here, at least for a little while. Which is going to be a whole hell a lot easier said than done there, really. Oh yeah, that's why I'm DLC indeed, indeed. Okay, I do have a depot there. 5,000 men, 5,700 men is just not good enough. Really not good enough. It's difficult because I want to place them on the other side of the river, but the thing is I can't reach these positions here. 
Uh, and 5,700 men with 50 guns is just not going to do it. I think I'd rather have them stacked up here with the additional German infantry. I'm going to go ahead and do that. At least then they actually approximate a division in, in terms of... I, yeah, I mean, the fact is that these guys have almost as many guns as a quote-unquote division. And this is a regiment, so that says a whole heck of a lot there, doesn't it? The motorized can move out uh, relatively nicely, at least the ones with the 39 movement points over there. These guys have a lot of mobility. The 13 does leave something to be desired. It may be worthwhile to place the two divisions there, just to make sure that this can't be cut off. But again, it's just not going to help me out too much. I'd be better off just getting these guys to the other side of the river, really. At least we've been... Uh, it's semi-frozen. It's not quite frozen. At least it still presents something of an obstacle. That 12,000 is looking pretty good right now. I think I may go ahead and... Uh, it depends, really. It does depend. We do have... I don't have a huge amount of freight in the area. A lot of freight had moved up over here, really. I'm going to go ahead... Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, disband said depot over. Obviously, that can't remain. <sighs> Excuse me. And I do have a level 1 fort there. The question is, is that... Well, to be fair, that is at least something I can work with. At least then I could have units that can't fall all the way back, potentially fall back into that position there. Um, it does leave us potentially vulnerable, but it does add... It's a tide break. Nah, no, not really. It's not worth it. It would be just absolutely smashed running it. Yeah, no, can't. It would have been nice. It'd be nice as an idea, as a concept, as a nice idea. That's a shitload of supply there. I would imagine that would uh, turn. I think what I'll go ahead and do is maybe bring, like, I don't know, maybe just place something on there and then just make sure that supply can make it out. So that's quite a lot there. At the end of the day, it's... We're not hurting for logistics per se. It wouldn't help us at all to have a lack of logistics down there, but it's not going to kill us either way. How does it sound, by the way, with the actual sound? I, I think it sounds... Well, I think it's better now. I think it's a lot more natural. I'm not having to, like, sort of... I don't know. I had to, like, try and position the microphone in such a strange way. I was, like, talking downwards rather than talking at it, so at least this may, may be better. I, mean, I could probably adjust it a little bit more, but... That should work for now. I can see everything, and it's, it's really quite nice. Okay. Hmm. Adam Special over there. Now, they do have a grand total of four construction value. They are a multi roll unit, so I will probably have them moved out. They can thankfully move, which is very good. And then I do, yeah, I do have the two Panzer Corps over here then. So, the decision then really is, what do I do with the infantry? I have the Romanians over here, then. I could try to... I mean, the issue is the Romanians even triple stacked. Even if it's a couple triple stacked, it's going to do all that much. Um, we really need to try and shield this area. And that's going to be quite difficult to do. The 16th Army is making its way south, but the issue is we have to hold this area as well. I mean, I don't technically have to hold it, but I would prefer to hold it. Because then it does it does prevent things escalating to a degree. We don't have all that much in the way of men here, but I do have ability to move forces down this way. I'm going to move about a Panzer Corps down this way, but at least can have a reaction force. Uh, we did have the beginnings of the 5th Panzer Army um, over here. That's a force I'll be coming into play in the near future. I'm not going to deploy it as of yet. I do want to try and organize it properly. We do have couple additional forces. I was going to go ahead and actually change this over to the 5th Panzer, but I do have that attached infantry there. I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. But as of right now, it has two infantry divisions, but it has SS Panzer and Motorized there. So I need to go ahead and deal with this. The good news is that the 2nd Panzer Army is no longer an assault army, so I, I now also do need to rearrange, well, I do need to um, deal with supply priority. Yeah, they really would benefit by having some time in a, in a depot or something of that nature to build up their numbers once again. This division over here actually did fantastic, and it took on quite a lot of freight there to actually replenish its numbers, which does make a pretty considerable difference. 
Uh, the issue is I need to uh, possibly counterattack over here. Maybe over here as well, maybe. I don't have enough strength to really deal with this, that's the problem. But at least if I can move Italians and Romanians up this way, then at least we have that. Uh, frankly, the 16th Army needs to, needs to get its arse and gear. I will deploy the 5th Panzer Army, or at least a reaction call when, when the time is right, I think. I think every little... Every extra day that they get to spend in a city here is worthwhile. It means I actually get the opportunity to take on additional panzers if I can. I mean, as of right now, I've only got 42 panzer free J's. They're not exactly fantastic. At least I've got a couple panzer uh, Fs. Oh, God, they're not even good. Oh, God. Okay. Right, so the Panzer Free Jesus, it's like dealing with a 41 division here, really, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, exactly, Versage. Yeah, this is effectively a 1941 Panzer division in terms of what it has here. Ironically, its artillery may be more effective than the actual tanks at this point. I mean, they still are, don't get me wrong, but they're just, they're gonna suffer, they're gonna struggle. Uh, this is where the heavy Panzer battalions do come in handy. I do have a Stamm Infantry Battalion here, too. We do have some uh, St Stugger Salt Gun Battalions here. Do have Flak too. I tell you what, these... Um, Flak Regiments are looking pretty attractive right now. And it is interesting. I can't use them offensively, but I could use them defensively. And against the unit that is under attack, they do have a tremendous amount of 88s there. Uh, but I would, uh, I do have that call that I need to get out to front. Uh, if I take a look at them. Where is it now? I also do have some R3 in OKL, I believe. Let's see. AA. Yeah, there we go, like 18 flak regiments. So you can see that we do have 64 88s there. We have 12. What should we actually have in here? Oh, we're actually at 100% strength. That's rare. That's very rare. And they actually do come with 150 support, which is actually pretty good there. But yeah, you can see that we do have the uh, 6488 there, which is a tremendous amount of 88. So that is really, really quite good. I mean, that's... Um, I think they're carrying the... I, I, mm, I think they have approximately the same sort of armor penetration as the long-barreled Panzer uh, F4, I think it is. But they have greater range in accuracy, I think, or at least the range is significantly greater. I said they're unarmored, but the fact is, it's like, well, it's 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 64 of them. That's quite a lot of anti-armor capability. Is your plan with the Panzers to attach directly to divisions or keep them on the core level? It's really hard to say, really. I think if I have them attached to a single division, then I could potentially control the way in which they're employed. I'd really like to have them aside to like Viking Panzer, uh, to the uh, Viking SS Panzer Canadian Division, perhaps. The reason being is I like, can make use of its good morale, it's good to your Wii. And they probably should do well enough like that. It's a tough one, really. We don't get all that many of them, but we do have at least some. I mean, I do get the next ones relatively soon, I think. Yeah, okay. So on turn 8, I will gain the 501st Heavy Panzer Battalion. And the good news is they do gain the Panzer Freeze as well. Essentially, what I'm going to try and do is like turn Viking uh, SS Panzer Grenadier. No, I don't think they're SS Panzer Grenadiers yet. Uh, SS Motri, I don't think it is. Well, they might be Panzer Grenadiers. Like, no, they are Panzer Grenadiers, aren't they? Yeah, but if, essentially, if I can turn a uh, Viking... Or Viking... I'm just going to say Viking rather than say Viking. Viking. If I can turn Viking into a... Uh, Basically, like a proto SS Panzer division. That's kind of what I'm aiming for because we do gain the Panzer Free Ends, and so we'd have maybe uh, anywhere in the region of like 70 to 85 Panzer Free Ends, and then we could have something in the region of about uh, 60 Tigers. I think that would be a pretty significant force, and then, um, yeah, I think that'd be pretty good, in fact. I think that would be a pretty significant force. 
Now, is it a Panzer Grenadier? Yeah, it is a Panzer Grenadier. Yeah, and the reason why I'm thinking Viking is because they can have that 90 morale. They don't have it right now, but if I could string together some victories, they could do. Uh, they do need to have their numbers up a little bit. They've had some losses, but not all that much. It's just the fact that they do have a pretty damn good TOE for the most part. They do have good morale. So if we take a look in here. Yeah, they have plenty of pioneers, which is good. Mechanized infantry squads there. Mechanized engineers, so the pioneers. Panzer gun idea, pioneer. Oh, Panzer Pioneer. Lots of MGs there. Hell of a lot with the MG42. HMGs. Yeah, they do have built in 88, which are useful. They have lots of artillery. They also do tend to come with self propelled artillery as well, which is a really good thing, too. They do have built in uh, tank destroyers as well, and SPAA. So, really, I think they're about as good as we're going to get, unless we actually do have a Panzer. Um, I mean, what is it? What is it even? Uh, what even will a Panzer SS Panzer division look like? So these are heavy Panzer battalions. When do I see my first SS Panzer division? I'm not too sure if others will upgrade. Maybe they will. Closer to the top. Yeah, we're getting the 101st SS... Well, we're getting heavy SS Panzer Battalions. But where is an actual SS Panzer Division? Does anybody know when they actually do arrive? 12 SS Panzer. 12, okay. Let me go ahead and uh, turn these off and go for German. Not that it's going to make much of a difference. There's not that many of us there. So I'm looking for... Oh, there we go. Yeah, well spotted there, actually. Yeah. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have the 12th SS Panzer Division. Okay, so if I take a look at the 12th SS Panzer Division there. Uh, so we have Panzer 4H and we have Panthers there. We don't really have an idea of what numbers they should have. Oddly enough, I can't see the um, table of equipment for them now properly. Well, I can, but I can't see what the numbers really should be. But yeah, we can see there. Oh, those Panzer Strikes are quite nice. But effectively, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Viking into the 12th SS Panzer Division, essentially. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do with the actual heavy Panzer Pioneer. Well, sorry, with the heavy Panzer Battalions. 26. Oh, interesting. Okay. But that's the game plan. That's ultimately the game plan there. And I think it's going to be the best way to go about things. Okay. So I do want to try and obviously get that division back. Alright. So I could attempt to hold that, but I'm not going to do that really. I need to have at least some force over here to actually hold this area. Now, I do have a level of fortification over here, which is really quite good, so I'm going to be quite eager to maintain that. 11,000 men's not bad, actually. We do have some additional men here, too. It looks like they did take on... Yeah, they took on some replacements here. That's a very big deal. I want to keep a infantry division like that. But, yeah, these guys aren't looking too, uh, too great right now. At the end of the day, they still have the capability to resist, which is a big deal. But yeah, that's that's essentially what I'm going to go ahead and do. Is um, I mean, I would like to create an SS Panzer Corps. Well, just an SS Corps in general, really. I think, yeah, we have the SS Panzer Corps there. We do have these newly arrived units of Dazreich, uh, Limestad, Adolf Hitler, I think it is, Totenkopf. So these are pretty awesome. These are pretty awesome. I think next turn I can transfer them, so I would very much like to go ahead and do so. Uh, we are actually above right now, for now, but it's not going to last long. But if I could try and get something else in here, bring these guys to the west, sorry, to the east, I should say, and have them concentrated, then I would go ahead and spoil that core. The reason why they're going to be spoiled is because they have fantastic morale. Oh, here we go, yeah. So this SS Panzer Grenadier, they actually do have Tigers in their table equipment as well, so this is where they're going to be quite handy. So I do wonder then, is uh, Viking, is, is Viking, sorry, actually due a uh, table of equipment upgrade? 
They probably are, then. If I go over here, then. Uh, maybe it's already due now. No. No, theirs is just different, then. So, okay, so I definitely want one of those there, then. Uh, do those trend in pants of Italians actually do anything? Uh, they don't... They don't really... They're not by... I mean, it's kind of the abstraction, to be honest. I mean, you can't really... Because we don't have, like, tank crews. We can have air crews, but we don't have tank crews. That would be interesting to have tank crews. That would be pretty interesting, I've got to admit. But alas, we do not. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Romanian sorted. I think what I will need to go ahead and do here, then, is... Um, get the Italians in order, really, first and foremost. These guys being already are no good. Really no good. Uh, yeah, that's no good. Uh, yeah, they're all no good. Yeah, we need to try and bide some time here. I do at least have some level of fortification here. And we will push things this way, so we will be able to try and check this to some degree. But we'll have to uh, pray to some extent. It may be wise to fall back to this position from here, because obviously they're surrounded. But in fairness, they can't move all that far, which is not exactly ideal. And considering that was the one that had the numbers as well, that's not the best news. I do have Savakians there. Savakians may be worthwhile pos uh, positioning out here. The reason being that they have relatively uh, okay numbers and a relatively okay t uh, table of equipment. Morale is good too. Relatively good. So at least they can actually maybe be a slight obstacle. But you work with what you've got. Okay, 11k is actually pretty good now. Okay. Let's get this sorted out then. I can't on an R forever. It is going to be bad though, that's the problem. I do want to make sure that I can... Possibly hold that. They could reinforce their position at least, and then at least I do have that there. Yeah, yeah, the Arispod unit, it's only 900 men, but once it's actually off the field proper, I will definitely go ahead and do that. Okay. The motorized can stay behind here for the time being. Right. That supply should move out of here. I don't really even want to go ahead. And I could even just place the Iris Special. We'll just get absolutely annihilated. At the end of the day, it's that supply will likely move, I'd wager. It may not, but I don't really want to put a division there. We'll have logistics come again. The position is really more important. Having men in the field that can actually fight is more important for now. So need to bear that in mind. And having them match in a position where they can actually do some good is pretty damn worthwhile. This position over here has been dug in. What I'm going to go ahead and do then is shift them here. Okay. They can't move, but they can move. Whenever I can, I need to at least double things up to some extent. That doesn't help me by being like that. Okay. I do also need to make sure I have a division on these depots, to be honest. So if I have a core run there, it needs to be shifted off, but uh, we have something else there. 
I could potentially go ahead and transfer them over here. It's not going to make a tremendous... Or even down this way. As long as I have something where I can actually work. And that's good. That's a size 1 rail yard. Uh, that's going to be a size 1 under repair right now. Okay. I may go ahead and actually increase the priority of supply to these areas here. Because they do have a logistics that should make it work. Hmm. Now, what do I have here? 30k. So I'm going to go ahead and actually have... Um, so Army Group Don can move over here. That takes us up to 60k, which is good. So at least that gives us a very large depot there. We also have another large depot here. They need to be increased on the priority, so we can actually try and pump assets down here. For in fairness, I need to push it up this way. But if I can get it in there, then at least we do have some high capacity. I would like to have one... Uh, I mean, this one's not too bad, because it's kind of the center there, but at least I could draw from there. Uh, but we don't have that much in the way of roads out here, so it's not particularly fantastic. But I do have a lot of rail. I do need to try and fight for that rail to maintain said rail. It's not too far from here, so I do need to make sure this area is... It may be that I just have the Germans sort of move into this position here, protect the actual rail infrastructure, have the Romanians and the Italians sort of just have to block this way while I try and deal with this. At least then I can try and bring 17th Army up to standard... Well, just up to scratch. 16th Army is making its way slowly down south to deal with the situation. 5th Panzer Army could be activated to move down this way then. The, geog the geography is going to work to our advantage to a degree because obviously we're reducing the um, front, with the width of the front there. It does work for the Soviets too, but it does mean that I can make greater use of individual divisions as they're going to be supported. More support units will be moved down here too. So I guess we'll go for that then. Okay. What I can go ahead and do is that. That's not exactly how I do. Oh, this is it. You learn by watching. Watching's always a good thing. Alright, I could move these guys. And I'm going to move them off, actually. In fact, I really want to go that way, but not yet. But in fairness, I could actually have them um, just simply deployed like this. The idea being that they do project some zone of control. Being a regiment, they still project some. Not as much of a penalty, but they still project some. So that's at least something to work with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Trial and error is a big thing. It's a real good way to learn. Natural way to learn, in fact. Okay. That can move there. Yeah, we do actually have the Croats over here. Uh, they... Yeah, they actually did take on some replacements over here, which is fantastic news, in fact. That's real good news. Yeah, they can move on there now. That's good. Okay. Get these uh, cores into position over here, but... That one I can't, sadly, but still, we can work with that. Um, where's the arrow special? Did I move that? Oh, I did move that. Okay. My bad. Oh, well, it's, it's worthwhile having. I may go ahead and even place them there. They're not going to do anything, but at least it prevents something from getting in there, which is pretty useful. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, this is it. It's, um, it's fun. It's fun to lose sometimes. That can be disbanded. And we're of course going to move the aircraft away from here. At least we do have more infantry that can head that way. These guys will take on replacements. You can see that we do at least have something approaching a line there. And that's pretty good to have. Okay. 
I've got the Romanians over here, actually. That's pretty useful to have, too. Yeah. They're currently not ready, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and actually have a 200 knight seven for that. They can't really do anything right now, but I'm going to have them move that way. Both calls can move in there. But at least that does bring the capacity up over here fairly nicely. Yeah. These call sets can kind of like move down here. We do have them on refit as well, so hopefully we can get them into action soon enough. I do have a couple more units over here. I'm just trying to bring up the numbers where I can, really. The Romanian army is going to get smashed for the end of the day. If I can at least have it uh, delay, then that's going to be something good there. <laughs> yeah, they are good. They are useful. They, they definitely are. Not all the infantry can move out, then, it seems. But at least I can... If I can at least get them over here, then that's something. Yeah. It may look like it may have to be that I move in the same position, but at least I can do that. Yeah, we'll think about that. Right. I do have depots around the area as well, which is quite good. Let me go ahead and get the Romanians moved then. Oh, is the music a little bit loud? Sure. Uh, some of the tracks are louder than others, which is kind of annoying. I would love it if they could... Uh, we'll see how we go with four. It would be nice if they could have them all, like, normalized. Ah, uh, it would be good. That would be good. Okay. Real any distance. Oh, that's good then. Sorry about that. I'll turn it down one more point, in fact, actually, because it may have been too loud. There we go, that should be a lot better. Okay. Remains that are in contact, I need to deal with first. Yeah, I know, it's it's a little annoying, I must admit. Frozen River over here would be nice to work with, but hey-ho. I'm going to have a move to... Hmm. If I can hold these depots, then at least I can actually make use of them to replenish. I'm going to go ahead and try for that. Okay. That would be nice, but, you know, well, I don't know. It may be worthwhile doing so, just so we have, and it is exactly what I was looking for, in fairness. about that for now. Yeah, I mean, a number of these are already now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's actually a good division to work with there. Thankfully, those guys can move some decent distance. It's a shame that these guys aren't gonna manage really. These guys being already is no good. I could go ahead and set up another depot over here in fact, and that would be a decent idea then. At least I can actually place the Romanians in this area uh, on that. Okay. They'll be moved out though, don't worry. These German divisions then. They're a little bit harder to work with, but at least I can actually place down some protection here, then. Hmm. I do need some additional protection here. I 
I'm going to go ahead and triple strike because I can have the panzers then deployed out this way. It does mean that I could then place this one over there. They can remain there. At least then I have some strength there. Granted, I'm not beginning the works on the fortifications here, but we can manage that. Um, they could be moved over here, but at least then we have something to go with. Or even just over there for the triple. Uh, they have a decent bit of movement there. Would be nice to have something here to try and hold that rail line. I don't have a whole lot of boats to shift that way. But I think I will take the panzers out here then, perhaps. Not that there's a lot of panzers, but at least I can actually have them out there. But you can just move there from now. 8k. I know they can stay there. First Panzer Army. Yeah, that was the one that I need to manage there. And the red boxes, um, essentially it means that these units are, are just going to get... Yeah, they, they can't stop anything. They're not really combat capable. So they'll just be uh, displaced by the enemy, advancing really. Okay, at least then I could potentially place the Romanians over here to maybe... Uh, they're not in a great position. Yeah. Set up another one here. Okay, I'm going to have them relocated again. Mm, not quite. Okay, fair enough. 
second there's a lot of supply there. Not that it's anything like um, ideal with the situation, really. We can at least have all the uh, BF1 uh, 109 such fallbacks this area. Um, if it's four, they'll attempt to... Well, they, they won't really pass on any freight unless they're full, I believe it is. Well, three, I think they'll still pass on some freight. I forget how exactly how it goes, but I know four is like where it'll be very reluctant to pass it on. So I'm not set in a four as of yet, so I don't quite have an endpoint, if that makes sense. I mean, that could be like a decent... Actually, no, that would be a good endpoint there. That would be the good endpoint. Has the two rails there, yeah. That'd work out well enough. Shame it doesn't have um, a better rail yard. Only the one there. Okay. Yeah, we do have quite a few fighters we can actually shift back, which is decent. Was going to operate around here, but hmm. So that's quite a few BF109s there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, did I move all of them over here? Oh, I didn't intend to move all of them there. Oh, that's alright anyway, I guess. You know, I would enjoy that shoe. That'd be nice. I'd, I'd be up for that. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. That's strange. I did think there was a way to do it. Yeah, there we are. 
Okay, so that's transferred the fighter strength then uh, back over here then, which will work better for them, really. Will work better for them. Okay, that uh, can be knocked down to two. Yeah. I'm just trying to get them up to strength if I can. Right, that's a bit of a confusing situation. So they can go into the command of the fifth. And then the others can go into the command of the fourth. I can go ahead and do then is take these guys. At least then I have something on top of them. Thankfully, he can. No, no, he can't. God damn it. That's the one I meant. It's a little annoying. Yeah, it's going to take some reorganization here, but um, at least we have some density there. It's not going to really last. The river is at least something to work with. Uh, it's a little odd that we couldn't get it entirely across the river. If we'd been entirely across the river, it at least would have been an entirely better situation. But uh, you work with what you got, and that's how the cocky grumbles. Uh, or at least the... Uh, army in the field crumbles. Need those assets. Nice. Yeah, they're, they're kind of buggered. They're going to route. But it's just a shame, though, really. Hmm.
Right. Ah, oh, so many commands. <laughs> so many commands. Uh, that's so annoying. Okay, this is gonna be a massive pain in the ass. Okay. Uh, this is the starting guard to Berlin scenario, so um, I guess it's custom to the fact that it's starting from that point. Really could have put them out of six arm, but that's fine. Okay, it's not perfect, it's really not perfect, but it's just frankly it's just to get things moving. Yeah. Over here is gonna be an interesting one. <laughs> in fairness, I, I can't, I can't remain out here. I kind of regret not doing it sooner, pulling out from this area. 
Rish's fingers didn't go as I wanted them to have gone. And with the difficulty setting, they can more or less teleport. Well, they can move their men without worry. And that's pretty difficult to manage, really. Apparently that's easier. I've got to assume that the guards division in times three fortifications in Light Woods is surely... Oh, it's because of snow maybe that's probably got some impact. But even then, times three forts is... is that's pretty rough. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, apparently the odds are, are saying it, so... I'd hope that we could have routed them. I shall try and buy some space here to dig this in yet further. It wouldn't hurt to sign them pioneers just so they could dig in at a, a speed aided rate. You want me to do it, Sarge? Thanks. Okay, I guess we'll attack that. Mm. Okay. That went well enough. It does have them technically cut off now, so I might be able to deal with them next time. Not a super fan, though. I mean, in theory, we could attack that, but I'm not going to do that. That achieves what I wanted it to achieve. Yeah, they were the ones that got the hecking kicked out of them. Okay, so we do have the core here belonging to the 5th Panzer. Oh, 
I'm going to have the uh, Luftwaffe move into Arelva to hold the city. It is urban, so they should be able to manage that. It's not really, I mean, this would be a nice place to sort of like go for some sort of encirclement, but it's just, not, it's just not quite the weather for it. It'd be nice to knock out the rail out here just to sort of deprive him of that, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. I mean, it does, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna end it. It's not gonna stop it. I may want to bring them down this way, to be honest. Uh, it is a good question. The issue is, it's like when you're moving a, a large number of divisions, you are going to pay for that. I mean, is it is it worthwhile? Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm going to con... Yeah, I think I'm going to continue with what, what we have. I think walking to the front, I know it's not going to be uh, amazing, but it's, sometimes it's not really the the difference of a division or two. Often it's been able to actually have the divisions in the field, just be able to receive said replacements. Hmm. They're in a difficult position there unless I deal with this. They need reinforcement, really. Yeah, I mean, we can do that. I'm just, I know I can do that one. And then I could bring the Panzers potentially around them. If I'm lucky, that is. They shouldn't have all that much in the way of actual armor. Difficulties these guys have been committed to battle. Interestingly enough, why am I looking at here? Units attached, okay. So they do have uh, Stugs attached, which, thank God, they don't really have all that much way in Panzers. Hmm. Okay. I do need to contain this. Not really desirable, but I need to contain it. At least then I have four divisions still to attack there. Uh, difficulty is if I attack here, I mean, they're not looking particularly fantastic. I do need to be able to make sure I can actually win that battle. So there is the there is the chance that the enemy does have a reserve there. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the 7 and 2. I know it seems like an overreaction. It's just I can't... Uh, there is a chance that they do have reserves. And it could go skewy. Thankfully that didn't happen. We do shot to them. They should still be able to attack into here, which is good news. Yeah, that CV, I'm, I'm not too sure about that. Really not too sure about that. It may be... Um, I 
I don't believe they have 729. I don't. If I don't deal with them, I'd have to give up the 30. Well, I'd have to give up the level 2 qualifications because they could just be cut off. The alternative is that I, in fact, bring these forces against the two infantry here, against the infantry and the brigade there. I could bring the motorized of the cavalry down here. They then have to deal with this. They may attack forward, but at least then. I don't know. There's there's a chance they potentially don't connect the lines back up. It's a small chance, um, admittedly. See, they could even move into that position there. But that is a bit worrisome. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? The numbers are, are more than likely lying, but again, I can't be sure. And if I do attack, I do lose combat uh, preparation. There is the greatest chance that I do, in fact, uh, lose the battle. I mean, it would be nice to force a tank corps to lose a large part of its actual armor. Uh. I think what I could do is bring forces to uh, enable this part of the line to hold. I think we'll come to that one when we come to that one then. They should be able to manage. So they're under the command of the Panzer Corps. Okay, that was all right. I don't want to move back, so I may potentially lose the two divisions here. Well, the two division stack, I mean. May attack into that. There is this, though, that's a problem there. But I should be able to manage that, I would wager. They won't have enough to join into that battle, so I could have them moved up over here to support here. So I think I will do that. Six, nine. They could just move down there, that would be great. Take a risk. No, actually, then again, the issue is this is only a level one fort, isn't it? So that's it's not worth compromising them. We'll go ahead and give it a go here. Yeah, they round. That's good. Yeah, they don't lose all that much in the way of men there, but that's pretty good to have. 
then going to have them turn back over here then so they're not on the front line so they can recover. I do want to have some additional men in here. I want a lot of different things in fairness. We could potentially attack these brigades here just to sort of create some space to play with. The issue is I do lose about half my combat preparation when I do attack. That's the only problem. And that combat prep can keep you bloody alive. Luckily I can move these men over here. They're going to move down this way. So this will this area will receive naturally some uh, reinforcement. Okay. I think we go for this over here then. I think I need to deal with it. So the Sturm Infantry Battalion then does bring us some additional men. They do bring in those Stoke free Fs, but additional men do help. Uh, the 20... was it 24? The 24 or 75, yeah. Uh, the 24 pack forties are pretty damn good. I mean those pack forties are... Pff, they're bloody good. Bloody good. Gotta hope it works. Is there anything else I can do there? Let's hope. Yeah, there we go. That's good. That's very good. Oh, they actually... Uh, okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Now, they may actually be isolated next turn, so, I mean, it, it would be... That's really interesting, in fact. Okay. Yeah, so those 3,000 men, 77. Okay. Hmm. If I give that a turn, I should be able to... Well, I do worry about that not having a garrison there, to be honest.
That's for him. I can't, I can't simply leave it without a garrison. I just can't. The risk is too great. F is two. Ah, oh, fuck. Now, luckily, they're in a position there to for a serious block. have to go for that though, annoyingly. But that is going to become a problem again and again. Thing is, they could move in there. this is if it moves forward at least I can deal with it then This may be just a little harder, to be honest. I think I do want to have something there.
Oh, I'm gonna have to shift things here. I don't want to lose out in the heavy woods over here, to be honest. I really need an army up over this way. I really do. This one's going to be a tough one. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. In fairness, though, um, the AI has been able to redeploy its troops practically freely. They do have slight advantages in, in the admin, digging in, uh, morale, that sort of thing. So it's uh, a bit bad, but uh, not uh, slightly less bad, but much worse. <laughs> I really want to go ahead and see if I can knock that out. It's a good, uh, a good build up. Yeah, if I can, if I can route it or, or overrun it, something of that nature, then that's good. So I'm not going to get many opportunities to attack a division. Right, so they retreated only. I wanted more from that. Ah, uh, it's a city, that's why. Now, they did attack that position last turn. Now I'm trying to dig in this level 3 well into the heavy woods there. 
issue is this area. In some ways it needs to step back, but it can't, so it's a difficult one. So just trying to build up the forts where I can, really. At least these two divisions over here can aid in the digging process while they are here. Certain ones are coming under attack too, which is not exactly great. That one though is a bit worrisome. See, it's like I'd like to have a division here, really. Maybe it's worthwhile having this division here, because then I could even just fall back from the heavy woods and shorten the line by two hexes, really. I mean, in fairness, that would be a pretty good deal. I think I'll have them placed there in reserve. There is additional artillery available now, though. That's a big deal. Last, uh, we are out of time, so I do apologize. I was going to say, I, was, I almost said, like, apologizing about at the same time, so I had to, like, stop myself midway before I said something weird. It turned out weird anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, this is it. Uh, it does take some time to get the decisions made. Uh, we still have a few things to take care of over here. I mean, this is interesting. They've actually retreated in... Towards, uh, towards us, really, which is quite good because I could potentially then have that division, well, that core captured, and maybe even gain some of that sweet, sweet, juicy equipment. I do think what I'm going to go ahead and do then is build a Viking to be essentially our SS Panzer Armor division. Uh, the SS in the west will be able to be redeployed in the near future. I do have a Panzer division. I could instead, I could send the Panzer Division, the 26th Panzer Division, to the west this turn. At least then it actually does replace the, or at least it does go some way to alleviate the, the uh, losses perhaps, but I'm not too sure. God, these guys are amazing by having those, like, 24 guns. Gosh. Want those, want more of those. Yeah, I do also have a 5th Panzer Division there. <sighs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Well, until next time, thank you for watching there, ladies and gents. Hope you had a great time. See you in the future. Take care. Stay sexy. You can find myself over at uh, YouTube at XRG. Hope to see you again there in the near future. Goodbye for now. Till next time. I guess I'm going to say, Jane Matarashi. As a short 75mm ammo, I can imagine. Bloody. <laughs> you need as much as that as you can get. But yeah. Thank you very much, there, Lancer. Take care. See you later, Shoot. And everybody else, take care. Goodbye for now.